it seems like every few months some celebrity comes out claiming the earth is flat and gives a few arguments supporting their claim. Now, most of us can see right through their poorly thought out evidence and get a good laugh at their expense, but can you prove the earth isn't flat? Well, let me help you with that because in this episode, I'm going to explain how we know the earth is round. Stay tuned. Welcome to the cool thing about science. I'm Matt Parker. And in this episode, I'm going to give you all the details for how we know the Earth is round and not flat. Because it's not flat. It's definitely not flat. But let's say you don't trust scientists. You think they're all part of some conspiracy to fool you into believing the Earth is round for whatever reason. Therefore, you don't trust pictures from space because you think they're all Photoshop. Well, fine. You know what? I will not show you any pictures of Earth from space, and I'll do you one better. I'm not even going to invoke science for this. I'm only going to rely on indisputable evidence we've known for thousands of years. It's often a misconception that people believed the Earth was flat until Christopher Columbus, Magellan, and other explorers began sailing around the globe. But this simply isn't true. Close to 2,000 years before these explorers, people had good evidence that the Earth was round. Long before science, stargazers and sky watchers have known the Earth is round by using a few of our most reliable instruments. The sun, the moon, and the stars. You see, at least twice a year a lunar eclipse occurs, which happens when a portion of the Earth is between the moon and the sun. As the lunar eclipse is occurring, the shadow of the Earth is cast onto the surface of the moon. And guess what? It shows the shape of a round Earth. But maybe you're not satisfied by this. You think a flat disk positioned just right could potentially cast the same shadow on the moon as a spherical object. Okay, fair enough, but I've got more evidence for you. So let's move on to the sun. If you plot the path of the sun as it rises in the morning, hits its peak at noon, and sets in the evening, you will clearly see it is making a circular path. But keep in mind, the sun isn't moving. What's causing the appearance of a circular path is in fact you on the surface of the Earth as the Earth rotates. And the same goes for the constellations. At night, the stars in the sky do not stay in the same spot. They rise and set similar to the sun. If you pay attention, the constellations you see during the summer are different from the ones you see during the winter. Not only that, but a lot of the constellations seen in the southern hemisphere are not seen in the northern hemisphere. Aristotle was one of the first people to note this difference. You see, if the earth was flat, this would not be the case. You and everybody else would always look up and see the exact same stars. But maybe you want some experimental evidence. Well, the first experimental evidence was given by Eratosthenes, an ancient Greek mathematician. He was in Egypt and noticed there was a difference in shadows cast by vertical objects at noon on the summer solstice in two different locations. In Syene, which today is known as a swan, there was no shadow cast by a vertical object at noon on the summer solstice, but in Alexandria there was a shadow cast. If the earth was flat, all shadows would cast the same in all locations. But there's more to this story than just a difference in shadows. You see, using the length of the shadow in Alexandria, the sun's angle was determined using a little geometry. And once Eratosthenes knew the sun's angle and the distance between Syene and Alexandria, he was able to perform the first calculation of the circumference of the earth. Now, as you may imagine, his calculation wasn't completely accurate. I mean, his measurements weren't very precise, and the earth isn't a perfect sphere, but it was a good place to start. And for more than 2,500 years, no one has been able to disprove the earth is round. So there you have it, some simple evidence you can use to check for yourself and see that the Earth is round. And the cool thing about science is that after Einstein developed his theory of relativity, it led to the development of the global positioning system, which you call GPS, and you use it to get directions from one place to another anywhere around the world. GPS is based on a spherical Earth, and it clearly works. So stay curious, keep asking questions, and continue exploring the world around you. And the next time you hear someone start claiming the Earth is flat, 
be prepared to drop some knowledge on them. Thanks for watching.